Hello, this is Mr. Buffington and welcome to our video on how to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. I'm going to try and solve it. This isn't the fastest way to solve it, but it's a way that you'll only need to know about three different moves to be able to solve this. So I'm going to hopefully um, be able to do that with only using a couple of different moves. So the first step is to get a white, completely white on one side. And you can pick any color. I'm picking white because it's it's just the one I always pick for starting with. So when I'm putting the other white pieces here, here, and here, I have to also consider this, that I want it to be the white piece that also has blue on the side of it. So I'm going to search around and find all the pieces that have white on them and look for the one that has blue. It's right there. See how that one has white and blue. So I want to get that piece up to here. To do that, I will bring it directly under where I want it to go. Then I turn the face and I'm basically bringing it up now. And you can see I've lined up the white pieces. I've lined up the sides with blue here. So I'll pick now another color. I want these two white pieces as well. There's one right there. This one has white, green, and orange. So the side that it's going to go on is the side that has white and orange. It's going to go right here. And it will have orange there and then green over here. So I again put it directly under where it needs to go. So I'm using that same move for all four pieces. I'm going to twist it sideways, line them up, and bring it back. Now I have three of the white pieces. I've got orange fully there, blue fully there. I need the last white piece to go here. Now this often happens that the white piece is now on the bottom. I can't just bring it straight up like that. So I have to start out by turning this piece. And this is done pretty easily. You start out, think about where this piece is. I'm twisting it. Now the piece is there and I'm not messing with any of the white pieces here by turning it one space. Now I'm going to turn this back so I have my white pieces all where they used to be. And the difference is that my other white piece, my last white piece, is now turned in the direction where I can do that same move to bring it up to the top. So now I'll bring it directly under where it needs to go, turn it sideways, line it up, and there we go. So I've got the um, red, blue, orange, and green all set. That's half of your Rubik's Cube solved right there. So we've solved the first half of the Rubik's Cube using largely one move, that move where we bring something straight up from here to the top. Now there are two different moves um, that I'm going to show you to get the bottom solved. One puts all the bottom pieces in the correct space and the other one rotates the bottom pieces. So we're going to show you those two moves now. So first off, I want to line up the bottom pieces. I've got two oranges here, so I'm gonna line that up on the orange side. Just so that I can see, is this piece where it's supposed to be? This is an orange and green, and that's orange and blue. So that's in the wrong place. These two need to switch. So the move for switching these two pieces is you put them on your side right there, and you're going to do this. And this is a series of moves that, that you'll need to kind of watch closely and memorize. You go down, and the bottom moves this direction. This comes back. And then we bring that one back. And then we do that same thing that we did before to bring that up to the top. This way, this way, that way. Now, when you do that, you also need to twist the bottom two spaces just to get an idea. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't need to do that. So the pieces we were trying to move were the orange two pieces, right? We were trying to switch them so that the orange and blue was under the orange and blue, orange and green under the orange and green. So those two pieces are now in the correct place. Now let's look at this side. I've got green and red and blue and red. So these two pieces also have to switch. To do that, I'm going to flip them over so they're on the same side as what I just did. And I'm going to do that same move I just did a second time though. So bring my face or bring this um, right side towards me. The bottom turns that direction. Bring the right side back. I bring the bottom back. 
And then again, that same exact move we used at the beginning to bring those white pieces back up to the front. Now I'm going to look and make sure that these bottom pieces are all in the correct location. This one here, green, orange, green, orange, red, green, blue, red, and blue orange. So all four of these pieces are now in the correct location. And there's one move that I can use to spin them all and leave them in place. And that's the last, um, the last step really for solving this. So what it does, you have to think about this. It rotates so that you get the yellows down. And you're, all you really need to focus on is trying to get the yellows down. So what the move does is it makes this one and then that one, that one, and that one come down. So I want to spin this so that I get one yellow on the bottom and then all the other ones on the side. So I'm going to do that. What I like to do, you want the yellow one to be right here. So it's that one, that one, that one, and that one. You notice that if I do this move right here, I'll have a blue space, a yellow, a green, and a red, and that's what I want because I would have one yellow space here. So I'm going to do this move and it will make it so I have just one yellow on the bottom. Watch. So this is the move. Take the right side and I move it forward, bring that back, bring that back again, and then I'm going to twist this one more time, twist that again, and then bring it all the way back. Notice I have my one yellow on the bottom, which is exactly what I want because I can make one yellow and then this spot, this spot, and this spot be the ones that come down. What I can also do is if you do that move the opposite way, you could make it yellow and then this spot, this spot, and this spot. And those are the ones that you want. You want yellow, 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 and yellow to come down. So I'm going to do it this way, and you'll see it's the exact same move as what I did before, only in the opposite direction. So that's the one I'm looking at. So I bring it the face towards me, come down, and I'm going to this time turn it the opposite direction, turn it the opposite direction a second time, and then bring it all the way back, and that'll be your solved cube, just like that. Okay, so basically, Bring the whites to the top, making sure that your sides are lining up. Then use that one move I showed you to rotate or to move the cubes side to side so that they're under where the final spot you want them to go. And then use that final move to just rotate them in place. That's the solution for the two by two Rubik's cube. And again, that's just one solution. Um, I know that there's faster ways to do it, but that's one solution where you only really need to know a couple of different moves and you'll be able to get it. Good luck. Have fun. Hope you guys have a great day.